Hey devs, you are listening to Bilal Amjad and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the integration of JSON API with our UWP application. So what is JSON? In simple words, JSON is a data interchange format and due to its lightweight characteristics, it is being highly used to exchange data between different platforms and applications. And it is one of the secure way as well. As you can see on your screen, there is a variable student having name DJ and marks 89. Here name is a key and its value is dj. Marks is a key and its value is 89. Now, now you are familiar with the basic JSON where data is saved in a key value format. So here is another example on your screen about JSON format where many students have been added to array of a JSON. So how it returns the data is being represented on your screen. So how we get this data? We always have a URL HTTP protocol from which we call we send the call to the server and server give us response in this JSON format we then pass this JSON format to our native C sharp in UWP application let's get the ball rolling and see how it works I'm going to first of all let me open my main page of XAML file and let me add a header to this application for example I'm saying text flow text is equal to JSON API integration like this and I'm then saying that let me just the application of oh, all right now let me apply some styles Alright, now I'm going to add all my text box inside a stack panel so that I must get free from aligning them again and again. Now, I'm adding another text block. Current weather in Lahore, Pakistan is like this. All right, let me format it a little bit. Uh, all right, now I'm going to get the current weather in Lahore, Pakistan through a weather API. Let's see how we can consume uh, a JSON API in our application. So I'm going to hit open weather uh, API, which uh, these APIs are provided to you by open weather map organization, which provides you the data saved in their server through API and you can use that to develop beautiful weather applications. Now let's see how it works actually. Uh, let me give this margin to my stack panel rather to the text block so that every control inside it must be aligned. So here I am going to add another text block and its font size is 40. All right, and I'm giving it a name result so that I will bind this data uh, label. So I will then bind this text block with my res uh, result coming from JSON. So let's see how it actually works now. So now here is an API. So here is a JSON response coming from Open Weather API. This API is returning me weather in Lahore like this country is Pakistan and it is telling me that city is Lahore now I am getting all the properties of a weather in this API and I am going to bind this data which is in my browser as you can see with my application how I am getting this data is through a simple HTTP protocol which is API it is a simple it is a simple URL and it is returning your response in a JSON format like this. This is the response which server which the database of open weather map is returning you through this URL. This URL is actually the access to the database and the database is returning all the data of Lahore Pakistan weather like this. So let's consume this in our application. I will just copy the response 
and I'm going to add a model on this uh, JSON. I'm saying model and I'm going to add a class maybe the name of class is weather day now I'm going to replace class weather data with my new class how just go to edit menu this is a shortcut of automatically generating classes according to your JSON and this is a feature of Visual Studio go to edit paste special paste JSON as classes now my Visual Studio have created all the related classes according to the JSON format in my uh, weatherdata.cs file. Here you can see that the weather class is basically an array of type weather. I will just convert it to the list just to prevent allocating dump memory. So now it's pretty fine. Let's consume it. I'm going to mainpage.xaml.cs file and I'm going to write a method for fetching the data through a URL. I will say a, I will use async keyword and this keyword I will, with this keyword I will use my method async void get data like this. All right now this async keyword is always used and is compulsory to use when you have to use a wait keyword which we will use while requesting the server and whenever you want to hit uh, a URL you need to develop an asynchronous method so I guess you all are familiar with asynchronous and synchronous calls now I'm going to add my URL oh sorry string URL is equal to now I have added a URL now I have to create an instance of HTTP client library and I have to add namespace this HTTP client class is responsible for getting response and hitting URL on internet now I will create a client and new HTTP client now I have created an instance of my client HTTP client now I will save all the data all the response inside a string how I will say string response is equal to await client dot get string asynchronous I'm sending a say asynchronous call to whom to my URL like this now I will get all the response in this string let me show you uh, let me add this to the constructor and let me build so when this page will be executed the call to the server of open weather organization will be sent by this uh, now I'm debugging as you can see that uh, response is null when I will step into all right now there is the response inside that string which is a JSON but at this moment I can't parse this data into my native C sharp it is in JSON for that we have to add a third party library which is known as uh, json.net and you will find that in NuGet packages I will go to right click on references and just manage the NuGet package so here are the results and here is the library which will do the job I'm just adding it into my solution all right library has been added to my solution I will close this window and now I will consume this Newton soft library in my function how I will say that variable data is equal to JSON convert I have added the library uh, namespace like Newton soft dot JSON no it has a function deserialize object and I will say that uh, let me tell you one thing I'm going to add the class name of my main class so root object is a main class here and I will add reference of root object so all other classes basically are the member of this root object so I will give a reference of this root object but I will have to add its uh, namespace which is um, model folder actually so now I will say that 
to whom it has to pass so i want my uh, deserialize i want this deserialize object function to pass the response according to the root object class so if i debug uh, my application now let's see what happens so let me step into now you can see that inside data there are different classes there is a main class who have temperature pressure humidity and different values like this now i am going to bind this response with my text block how it's a simple method now i will do what i will say result label dot text is equal to basically data dot main dot temp to string and by default it will be in fahrenheit so you can apply formula of converting fahrenheit temperature to the celsius and this way you can get the data all right let me just add fahrenheit sign like this and now if i see my response so you can you will be able to see the current weather of my city in application after a few seconds like this so this is how we can find any kind of response coming from any server inside our application so this is how you can uh, work with uh, json apis in uwp application so now you are familiar with uh, binding data with json apis in the end of this video lesson we will develop some applications uh, just to tell you that how you can design and build a professional application we will develop some internet banking or simple wider application so if you have any kind of query related to today's video lesson then do ping me on the details being displayed on your screen thank you for watching my video happy coding